We're doing Budget Buddies two ways today, alive on Facebook and also on the GoPro. So come with us for an interesting little walk as we keep our distance from people. And we're going to do a walk around the uh, canal and give you a little interesting factoids for Earth Day before Coburn. So let's go for a walk, folks. You'll see us on. So, folks. So, if she turns that around to us. Here, you hold this one. That's better. Don't worry about the rotational thing. Hello, hello. We're going to keep our distance, folks, and we're going to go down these stairs. So, here's some interesting facts from the canal that you probably don't know there, folks. First off, Sugarloaf, Harb Sugarloaf was actually the real name for the city before it was and before that it was named gravelly bay did you know that no neither did i we also found out folks that the one of the original dairy queens used to be here that i knew i didn't before it went to niagara falls as a restaurant and everything else yeah so, and the reason this was named Port Colburn was of the upper governor, or lieutenant upper governor, Sir John Colburn. Did you know that? No. This also held one of the biggest flour mills for the British Empire. Did you know that? Well, I kind of knew that because there's a band in Robin Hood up, uh, up the ways here by the, if we go past this bridge. If we go down quite a ways, yeah. And it's abandoned, folks. That means if most RG watches this, <laughs> yes, it's abandoned. But no, you cannot go in because it's locked it's, up. And it's filled for with... For certain reasons, because of asbestos. Asbestos, yes. Another thing, folks, that we never really knew, that uh, they used to use the sand dunes from Shirks and Shores for the War of 1812. This is all stuff I never knew. So, and this is another spot that when the cruise ships come up for the lake cruises, if you go on them, folks, they come over here and they dock over here and you can come around and look in Port Colbert. So, Right now, it's all gated up, but uh, this well, year... If you look here, folks, this is a map of the canal. We are down here in Lake Erie. And all the way up to Port Weller, Lake Ontario, Port Duluth area. This one was built in 1833. And it shows different ships and everything. If you can see them there, folks. Did you show them? So this is a nice little town there, folks, that we found. We're keeping our distance, as you can tell. There are people out. We're hoping that the lockdown will be ending shortly, which we heard good news on it about it happening. So we're just out enjoying this spring day, if you will, right now, and just looking around. Because we told you folks, down the road, we will be heading out when this lockdown is over, right? Yeah. So, it's just no poor COVID canal days. This stuff is going to be staying uh, locked up. But there is no canal days this year due to the COVID 19. But there are very interesting shops that we do recommend down here. For example, if you look over here to the one side where you see the lady in the red coat, uh, the Pie Guys Bakery and Place is really good for desserts. We recommend it hard to everyone out there. There's a lot of little interesting sale shops down here that you guys would probably be interested in. Um, another great place down here I've heard is the Miner's Fishery, eh? Yeah, I like the Miner's Fishery down here. If you want... It's the red building all the way down there. We're going by it. If you want good, good fish, like I mean fresh fish, fish they catch you from this lake right here they catch you from this lake out that way past the lighthouse and everything there folks well, some of the fish does come in the canals because they swim up and down these canals 
And the Green Apple is another great place for coffee. We do recommend it too. But we did tell you we'd be bringing you out more during today, right? Right. So she, I'm not going to be the only one talking here. She's got to say something. I I'm holding this. I'm going to switch because I can't hold this. to two, two people. Okay. I can only maybe, and I can't catch up to you. That's eh, never a problem. It's kind of hard to do two people like this. Not really, I can do two. So then, then there's Myers Fishery. There's the Robin Hood place all the way up there. And as long as Will doesn't trip. I should trip a little bit there, folks. Yeah, my Fishery is doing a takeout for people. We're just gonna move off to the side because we see some people coming and we want to keep our distance. So we're gonna stand here and let them pass there, folks. How about since the um, road is empty, we can go across the road. Not very many vehicles out here. And if you want to see something interesting, folks, look over here. They're showing social distancing. With a with fish. fish. <laughs> yeah. So, there's a pilot boat. We're going to cross back over. I do want you guys to see the pilot boats. you can see this is the pilot boat this is the one that takes those guys out when they go out and they have the harbor master house and everything like that and you want to turn that around please so they have crew quarters they do have different places here folks for us to see I want to see how much time we have on this thing stop for a second okay so we're gonna end it here folks from the budget buddy hour and everything so folks we're gonna end our budget buddy hour here with a simple message of stay Bu budget wise budget healthy budget conscious and budget smart and if you want to folks follow us on Facebook as a group and we do respond to the comments a uh, big shout out to Todd and I do not know who the other person is that sent us the message but big shout out to you too so folks have a good day and like and subscribe so we can keep bringing you more people. Happy Earth Day.